Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Good morning from Lahore. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are discussing thanatology, and in thanatology, I have been discussing the late changes after death. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the mummification and adiposterior formation, which is a transformation or modification of the put effective process. So the learning objective of this lecture will be that in this lecture, I will be discussing the late changes which appear after death and as modification of putrefaction, they are the mummification and the adiposterior formation. In mummification, we learn the condition which favor it and what is its medical legal significance. And similarly, we will learn the condition which favors the adiposteal formation and its medical legal significance. So starting with the mummification. Mummification, it's a process of putrefaction. We know that for putrefaction, moisture and bacteria is the necessary element. And they are necessary for the putrefaction, whereas in dry and hot conditions, there is modification of this putrefaction process and that putrefaction process becomes arrested and the body tissue goes into a mummified or mummification process. Mummification is basically characterized by dehydration, desiccation of the tissues and viscerals after death. And there is leathery hardening of the skin and the features are preserved, which help in identification. So this is a foot and the legs, they are mummified, dried and shivered, desiccated, dehydrated. The condition is seen in the bodies, which are buried in dry sandy soil, like the desert sands, or if the bodies are exposed to warm and dry atmosphere condition shortly after that, which facilitate the process of mummification. Sometimes if the body is found near the chimney of the house and because of the heat, the body may be mummified. And in certain poisons also, like the chronic arsenic poison, because it also dehydrates because of diarrhea, vomiting, and there is extreme dehydration of the body tissues and body gets mummified. The time required for complete mummification of the body varies from several months to years. And this condition then persists for several years once it is developed. So the factors which are responsible for the dead body to convert into mummified state. They are the body buried in shallow grave or there is uh, no moisture or less moisture in high temperature and dry atmosphere. And there is loss of moisture from the body and the land is also our earth is porous. And these factors will then promote the mummified state. The dry sand, dry atmosphere, shallow graves, high temperature, porous earth, they will favor and the tissues will become dry and leathery. Skin will become dry and leathery and the tissues, they will be shriveled and dry. So these are the factors that the body is in, buried in high temperature, shallow grave, sandy porous land, and that will be convert the tissues into mummified state. Regarding the medical legal importance of the mummification is that it helps us the time period because minimum time period usually takes three months to several years. But depending upon the factors, it can hasten up and it can be delayed. Artificial mummification by various processes that can be done that is possible and that is not related to this time. 
The mummification may, uh, may help in identif identification of the uh, disease, establishment of the cause of the death, time since death, and identification of the place of recovery. Identity because the facial features are preserved and cause of death, the injuries or any other thing, they are also preserved. Time since death, that is, we can get the idea uh, minimum three months or the time which, which takes for the mummified state to develop. And about the place that we know that the body should be for mummification will be dry, sandy area and high temperature less moisture that will be favored. So they help in these issues. So this is a mummified state. The hands had been shriveled and dried up. Now the adipocere formation. The adipocere formation or sponification, it's a modification of the putrefaction process. And the putrefaction become arrested and the fatty tissues of the body may get converted into fatty acid. And it has the properties of fat and vex. So the name of adiposera, adipose mean uh, soft fat and sera means vex. So that's why the name adiposera is given. The soft tissues of the dead body changes into whitish, soft, greasy, waxy material. Soft, whitish, greasy, waxy material. The soft tissues of the body changes into whitish, soft, greasy, waxy material. Mainly it consists of fatty acids by post-mortem hydrolysis and hydrogenation. It is admixed with mummified remains of the muscles and nervous tissues. It emits sweet rancid smell. It is lighter than water and hence the body floats in the water. As we know that the fresh fat contains approximately 0.5% of the three fatty acids, but within four weeks after the death, this percentage rises to 20%. And after 12 weeks, it becomes 70%. That means that 70% of the fat will be containing free fatty acid. And this is the time when the adipose formation is obvious to the naked eye. The adipose material has a sweet, sweet rancid smell. It is lighter than water. So when it develops in the river or canals, the body then comes to surface being lighter in weight. The adipocere formation can take place in any body part, but more commonly occurs in the superficial parts. Initially, it starts in patches, then it separates to the whole body. And this is a mummified body. You can see the mummified state. So the we know that the firm fat, which contains fatty acids, saturated fatty acids, and those saturated fatty acids are basically palmitic acid, steric acid, myristic acid, and lauric acid. And this is the process that the dead body uh, have on those areas which are fatty and having less air, moisture, then bacteria, bacteria predominantly the cross of velchai, which releases enzymes, and this enzyme mostly is lecithinase, and warm temperature will convert the saturated fatty acids into unsaturated body fats. So this is the process that the dead body in dry, moist uh, atmosphere is there, and because of the bacteria and lecithinase enzyme, the saturated fatty acids are converted into unsaturated body fats. So the areas involved usually, it is abdomen, cheeks, breast, buttocks, rarely infants and obese, whole body is converted. 
that means in the infants and the obese person, the whole body is converted into adipocyte formation. Whereas in other cases, it can be limited to areas as uh, described above. So the time taken to develop in one limb, it takes three to six weeks and the whole body approximately one year. If the body is immersed in fluid, then this will occur early. Now the factor causing adipocyte formation, moisture plays an important role. The presence of moisture is prerequisite of the adipocyte chain. So when the body is well nourished, it contains sufficient water to allow the conversion of the adipocyte. Then the temperature, the adipocyte formation is retarded by cold and is accelerated by warm. Then the role of bacteria uh, facilitated the post-mortem invasion of the tissues by endogenous bacteria. And regarding the pH, the adipocere is also inhibited because of the acidic pH and dehydration. The medical importance of adipocere formation is that it helps in identification. As in adipocere, there is preservation of the superficial fish features of the body, so the dead body remains identifiable for a long time. Similarly, the injuries can be recognized and from that we can get the idea of the cause of death. Then it indicates the time elapsed since death. And it indicates also the place, as we know that the mummy uh, deposit formation takes place in the water or the moist ground where the body was recovered. So summary of this lecture is that we have discussed the other layer changes uh, which are appearing after death and which are basically the modification of the putrefaction and they are the mummification and the deposit formation. And in mummification, we have learned the conditions favoring the formation of the mummification and what is the medical legal significance of mummification. Similarly, we have learned the conditions favoring the adipocyte formation and its medical legal significance. Thank you very much. That is all about the mummification and adipocyte formation. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name. Thank you very much.